<clears throat> Joe here. Brian here. Today we're talking about holsters. Now we are down in Florida, so we're going to be catering to you folks that live down here in Florida. Um, really, there's two types anymore. You got in the waistband, outside the waistband. Um, unless you live in some third world country and you're watching Miami Vice for the uh, first time, uh, shoulder holsters are out the window. They're not cool anymore. No, no, unless you're crocodile tubs. And I have one. I've never worn it. No, I've seen you wear it before. Maybe once. Yeah, I've seen you wear it. I think <laughs> I picked on you so bad you uh, got rid of it. And I still have it. It's in the drawer. Benno holsters. Yes. And we've gone through I, I've gone through hundreds of holsters. I still buy them. I still go through them. I try them out. I mm -hmm. check them. I see what's junk and what's not junk. And you do the same thing. Yeah. You won't know what you like. We avoid the gun show gimmick junk holsters. I mean, you want to have three hands to pull it out? Yes. Yeah, you don't yes. want to have that one. Listen, folks, if you need two hands to get the gun out of the holster, throw that crap in the trash. Um, the universal junk holsters you find at gun shows, throw them in the trash. It starts with an uncle. It's probably not a good it's holster. It's crap. Um, just avoid gun shows in general. It's garbage. Um, the holster, its job is to secure on your person and to secure the gun. Cover the trigger up to make sure there are no accidents. You cannot see. You can't see anything. Well, you see my right multi-tool. So, now we know its function or the job of the holster is. With that, again, you need to get it out with one hand. Let's go over the different style holsters. Oh, side note. Listen, most of us are going to be carrying, he's laughing already because <laughs> I keep going off on side notes. Most of us are going to be carrying an in the waistband holster down here in Florida. Yep. Let's face it. We wear t-shirts. Folks, when you carry an in the waistband holster, put the gun in the holster, then put the holster in your waistband. Not the other way around. It avoids accidents. Not picking on a couple of the we folks that we know. We have a video if you come in. Well, that's a guy that appendix carries. Yeah. We're going to get over how to carry it on your person later, a different yeah. video. But guys, don't appendix carry it. Barrel's aiming right towards your junk. Uh, if you come to the shop, you can watch a video as he shoots his junk off. Pretty bad. Mm. But I think he just like shoves it in his pants with like a Uncle Mike style holster. Yes. And now he has. He wedges the, it in there. And now he s sits down the pee. Mm hmm. So, anyway. Yes. Listen, outside the waistband holsters. Um, Again, up north or something like that, we're wearing layers of clothing, wearing jackets or something like that. They probably work great, but down here, we're wearing inside the waistbands. Good These for like uh, single action army generic pistols. Crap things from the 60s and 70s. Um, that's what I think of those. That's less bad, but. I can't stand these. Yeah. With this stupid little like, thumb break right there. Here's my thought. If you have like a cool single action holster and you want like a fun leather holster to go with that gun that you're never really going to carry. That cowboy gun. You're gonna, yeah. That's where that stuff comes into play. Not practical though. What I don't like about these leather things down here. It's well, hot. That, yeah, it's hot quick. We sweat. Kids get wet. Grows quick. Yes, it stinks, everything else, but the moisture stays in there. Moisture gets around your gun. What happens? Moisture and metal. Uh, it turns a reddish color. Yes, it turns to rust. Throw that in the trash. Funny. And we do have a junk bin over there. Make us an offer. That's where they're all sitting. That's where they sit. I've um, actually been there a long time. My favorite holster out there, and one of my favorite manufacturers, does not have to be yours. Is DeSantis has nothing to do with our governor. Yes, it does. But this is a friction style holster. Throw that away. Yeah, throw this away. Oh, this actually, it's good for opening. opening jars. Yes, it's a sweat shield. Basically, what you do is you put your gun in there, then you stick this on. You know, if you're right-handed, put around. It's gonna go on like that. So no part of the gun ever touches your body. Uh, I just, I can't stand it. Yep. It goes like this, gun sticks right in there, Man. put it in your waistband, it stays, folks. I mean, it's just a little bit of pressure on there, it sticks to your skin. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite one, um, does not have Super to be yours. The advantage yes. to these guys is you can use them in a lot of scenarios, right? So if you are just jumping in the car and running to the store, it doesn't matter if you're wearing gym shorts and you don't have your belt on and all that stuff, you just shove it in your pants. Yeah. Grip you, it's very, very secure. Yeah. A lot of times I wear basketball shorts, not that I play basketball. Um, they're just comfortable. You don't play basketball? No, no. You should. I suck. You see me try to throw garbage in the basket. Um, <laughs> and I even yell Kobe and everything you told me to do, it yeah, still doesn't go still in. It still doesn't go in. But anyway, I'll carry a full size gun, basketball shorts, this holster, mm -hmm. boom, it stays. Yep. Not a problem. What I also like about this, you can't, if you can't tell, I'm a big guy. I, I yes, can, I am. couldn't tell. Yes. When I get in my car, I take up a majority of the seat. Um, it's, I want to re-angle the gun when I get in the car. It's easy for me to do that. Just twist it like that so the seat belt does not rub against it. Easy to do. Super comfortable. Then uh, a lot of rolls. What are you saying about rolls? 
They fit a lot of rules. Um, ladies, these are great too. When you're wearing a yoga pants, stretchy pants, whatever you want to call them. Again, you don't need a belt, anything like that. It really does not take the form of a gun. It just looks like a little tiny bump. Mm -hmm. um, like I tell women all the time, if the guy's looking that close and he actually sees that you're carrying a gun, good. Not gonna mess with you. It's true. So, probably the most popular holster on the market are the Kydex holsters. Thin, light, secure, a little less comfortable. Is that what you're still carrying? Yes. This is what I use. It's less less comfortable, I would say, than this one. And I think it's more secure for me anyways when I have a belt on, when I have one of our, you know, gun belts on, so to speak. But you can see there, you got a retentive clip. It's gonna click when it goes into place. You can adjust the tension and the can, or flip it left and right. Yes. They work great. They secure the gun like there's no tomorrow. Again, they're covering up the trigger. Um, a little more wear on your gun usually from these. Yes. They say they don't. They and when do. you buy these, make sure you're getting Kydex. Yes. Uh, the way you can tell the Kydex, if you look on the inside of the holster, it's gonna be hard to tell here. You go. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Shiny. It's hard to see in there. Like a shiny, satiny type of uh, finish in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it just means it's gonna scratch your gun less. Less. But it will wear your gun, but folks, it's a tool, who cares? Yep. You're gonna scratch your gun, your gun no big deal. No, again, okay. these work great, secure the gun. Downfall with these, it's good for one gun. Yes. So if you're carrying, let's just say a SIG 365, Very it's only gonna carry a SIG 365. to that gun. Um, something like these, the friction ones, they'll carry five to 10 different guns yeah. in there, within They're that size that range. Exact size category. Um, but this one's the new one, which one's the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. I like it that they're rounding the edges now. Yeah. The other ones had sharp edges. So if you were a little fluffy, the fluffiness goes around the edges just a little bit. It would irritate the you scratch know what up, out of you. Scratch up your lovies. Um, I think you even sanded yours down. Yes. It yes, would round them down off. Almost all of mine I've rounded them off. Rounded them off a little bit. And you're not that fluffy with them a little anymore. Like medium fluffy now. Medium fluffy. Um what I don't like about these, and that's just me. It does not have to be you. Brian swears by these, that's what he wears. Um, I understand it. People want to have the clip. It feels more secure. I get that. What I don't like is when I get in my car, I want to adjust the angle. Can't. I can't. I bet you cannot. The only way to adjust the angle, we can't on these things, is a screwdriver. Yeah. You can, but not in the moment. Yes. So that's why I don't carry these. More work getting them on and off, too. That's me. Um, it is what it is. I actually prefer, not necessarily this one. So mine's like this. Mine's the Kydex one. But they have dual clip design ones, too. Same kind of thing here. This one's kind of unique and it'll fit a lot of guns because it's a generic-y kind of cut, but dual clips. That's actually a cool holster. Yeah. That fits like 170 guns now, I it think. It is kind of crazy, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what's nuts is you put like a Glock 43 in this and it's tight, and then you go put like a full-size SIG in there and it's still tight. Still tight. 1911, still yeah. tight. I'm not sure how, how they, they put that dimple right there. It's weird. Cuts yeah. into the uh, dimple right there. Cuts into the trigger. Yeah, it's cool though. So, they're cool awesome. Cool design, but this one is a very good holster as well very lightweight same kind of material dual clips though so i'm like this one but with dual clips everyone's different though i have like four of those and six of everything so. yeah. i buy a holster i buy one of these for every gun i'm going to conceal carry um it's sitting on my nightstand it's sitting in this yep. it's sitting in my car it's sitting in this mm -hmm. um, listen when you get new uh optics on your gun you put a red dot on your gun you put lasers on your gun you put flashlights on your gun that's when you're going to start running into the problems with holsters yeah um Flashlights and laser stuff, especially. Especially since they change. A lot change. of the newer ones are cut for optics. But. Yes. Um, mine, I have an optic on my SIG that I'm carrying now. I actually took this and... Trimmed it. Trimmed it. Guess what? It works. And it's been holding for months. Months. Yeah. Shocking. For a while now. Yeah. So it works. Yeah. Um, flashlights and stuff like that, that you're mounting on the rail. Yeah, you usually have something custom made for Custom made. It. And there's some great, we have a great custom holster uh, maker that comes in here for us. Mm -hmm. um, Problem with that, again, you buy it, get a custom holster made because nobody's making them now because yeah. the lights change so frequently. You have a new light every week. Yeah. And a new gun every week, too. Yeah, the holster manufacturers aren't just going to keep up with that. So yeah. that's where the custom ones come into play. They're the most popular. Are we missing anything on the holsters? Mm. We have lace ones, too, for the thigh holsters. Yes, there are specialty holsters you have out there. Oh, the, belly uh, bands. the belly band holsters. Um, a lot of people, when they go jogging, stuff like that, not that we're going jogging at yes, all. Yes, we do. Every day we jog from that Dreams. side of the room to that side. Yeah, we go to the bathroom maybe for you. Um, anyway, going jogging or something like that, a lot of times it's hard to carry the gun. And yeah. ladies, I especially 
carry while you're out there working out. Yep. Um, belly band holsters are awesome, especially if you're carrying like a little Ruger or something like that. I mean, the belly bands is it's more worth getting the holster on and off. Yes. And again, you're gonna, a lot but, of times I end up using two hands to get the gun out, but you can yeah. still give up under there and pull the gun out with one mm -hmm. hand. Um, so they have specific rules. That's why we say you're probably gonna end up with a couple holsters. Mm -hmm. Thigh holsters. I mean, if you're. It's for fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's for fun. We won't talk about that right now. Not for me, fine. We I would won't never talk do about that. that right now. Um, yeah, thigh holsters. If ladies, if you're dressed a certain way, you're wearing that day dress, whatever it's called, and that's the only way that you can carry the gun that day. Awesome. Yeah, that's the only way you can do it. Uh, but again, if you're wearing a thigh holster, you're going to need a really tiny gun. Um, yes. LCP bodyguard, something along those lines, something that's light, like plastic those two guns. Only, basically. Yeah. Because um, again, that grip weight will start hanging oh, wow. over. Yeah. Um, Gun show guns, again, the gimmick guns, the bang bra. No, oh, you stay the frick away from Anything the bang bra. Anything that holds your gun and keeps it pointed at other people while you're carrying, probably yes. not a great idea. Well, the original design was pointed at your head. Oh my God. Then that person died carrying it. Um, now it's designed, ladies, it points at your, if you're right-handed, it points at your left breast, left points at your right and breast. everyone on that side of the room. Yes, stupid design. And again, you need two hands to get it out, so you actually have to flash the person. <laughs> Might distract them for a few seconds, but you're flashing them. Um, for guys, you don't think I see these as gun shows and on social media. They have the Urban Carry. Yeah. Which you probably bought one of those. I did a long time ago. Yeah. Yes. When I got my first carry gun. Yes. yes I did. Um, that's it goes way down in your pants like that. Well, flap hangs out. Uh, first off, you look like a genetic freak walking around. Like, what's it, Johnny Holmes or something? Like big thing. Oh, wow. That is um, impressive. You pull this flap up and the gun comes out. Stupid I stopped, design. I stopped doing it when I would pull it up and the gun would just whoop. Shoot into outer space. Yes. So Besides that's, that, if you have, uh, if you're wearing a belt, yeah, it doesn't come out. If you're sitting down. If you're sitting down, it doesn't come out. If you have a belly, it doesn't come out. No. Um, stupid design ever. Yeah. Again, that's a crap you get suckered into at gun shows. Mm -hmm. And it's generic. Yes. And not really that protective of the firearm. No. So stay it's away from that stuff. In a soft leather. Stay with the traditional style holsters. Find the one that you like. Um, these are the ones that we like. Give There's them a, a try. Of, a lot of good stuff out there. Stick to this kind of categories and you'll you'll usually like them. And you don't have to spend more than 40 bucks on a holster for yeah. a great holster. No. They're not that expensive. Unless you're doing custom, obviously. Yeah, custom, you're going to start spending. That's going to be more. $60, yeah. sometimes more. 60 to 100 problem. Yeah. Um, but most of your good holsters are awesome. in that $40, $50 price range. So hopefully that answered your question about holsters. Uh, if you have any more questions, send us a message. Comment below. Do something. Stop in and see us. But avoid the gimmick holsters, avoid yes. the gun shows, and uh, stop yeah. by and see us. Come see what you like.